All right, in this video, I'm going to be attempting to install this Easy Giggles cloth diaper sprayer on this toilet that I'm in the process of installing. Looks like it came with some cheap Teflon tape that I won't be using. The hose. Some instructions here. They leave a little to be desired. Sprayer, washer for something, valve. The yeah, like this looks pretty simple. First step, I'm gonna shut the water off. Still a little bit of water in there. We're gonna need to disconnect this and this water supply line here and here. Get a towel. There might be a little bit of water here dripping. This should be five eighths. Take this piece. Um, yours is like mine. There was nothing in here, but this was in the kit. This rubber washer is going to go in the bottom of that side, and that is going to get screwed in up here. No Teflon tape or pipe dope up here this, on this connection. All right. Now I'm going to connect this hose to this thing here. These are kind of interesting. Connect plastic pieces. So this blue piece just unscrews. Pull the plastic piece off. Make sure your rubber washer is in there. <coughs> and I'm going to put some pipe dope on this connection. And if you don't have pipe dope, I'd use Teflon tape here. being careful where I put it just on the outer edge so that once it's installed I hopefully can just see just chrome I'm not going to tighten anything super tight just yet. <laughs> Next, I'm going to grab my water supply line. It does not come with this, so yeah, this is something I need to purchase separately. But this this side, this fit in here should be 7 eighths. And your fitting down below might be either on the wall might be half inch or it could be... Um, three-eighths of mine. I'm not going to put any pipe dope or Teflon tape here because it's plastic metal. And there is pipe dope down here. I think I want this to be facing, well, maybe, maybe I'll do it, I'll face it, don't like that, how that rubs against the wall, I think I'm gonna run the line, well, just like that.
I'll get the other end of this hose. Same thing. I'm just gonna unscrew this blue cap. Rubber washer's in there. It's kind of hard to grip that to get a good, nice, tight snug, but kind of clean up. I got pipe dope. Come here. And turn the water on down here. I'm leaking from right here, but that has nothing to do with. Directions off. Just got to That's on. It says we're not in use to keep it off, so I'll probably keep it in that direction. I'm just looking for leaks here, 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 and here. And I'm not seeing any. Now we'll put on the handle hanger. I actually don't know what the screws are for. Oh, I see, so you can take out these two screws and use these two screws if you want to mount this to the wall as opposed to using this hanger, which I might do because I don't like how that is not a tight fit. Let's see what it's like with the whole cover on now. Right, that's not as bad as I thought. Does seem to have some good pressure. It's all stainless, so it feels solid. The only thing that I don't like is how the holder mounts to the toilet. It kind of makes this lid not sit flush. 